Hey, are you amongst the 95% of us that allow the trap of procrastination to invade our life and steal our dreams and our visions because we are too fearful to face a thing or too fearful to act upon a daunting experience or something that we have to do? Now, if we have to do it, then it's important. It's a necessity in our life. So we are afraid to do it is why we're procrastinating, right? Now, let me tell you what popular demand is all about. Popular demand is the belief system that is popular out here in this world. Now, the belief system right now is this. People who procrastinate are lazy people. That's what the belief system, the popular belief system is spreading. However, I'm here to tell you that that's an error and it's a lie and it's untrue. It's all to get you on the path of error. If you have ever been on the path of error, you know that it ends in a dead end. It ends with no results or it ends with trauma. So we got to get off that path of error and we've got to face the procrastination that's in our life. Let me tell you why I am concerned about teaching you about procrastination. Because procrastination does several things to us. First, the umbrella deals with our mental theft. It steals from our mental health. It gives us mental theft. It is a stealer. Procrastination reduces, diminishes from the functionalities of the brain. Now, it is our responsibility to take over our brain and our mental health and not allow mental theft. So now we're on the side of mental health if you're watching this video. Now let me give you the reasons why procrastination is no longer needed in your life outside of the fact that it's a mental theft versus mental health. Here it is, number one, it burdens you with fear. It weighs on you with the fear because procrastination is all about fear. It's you're afraid to face a thing. The other thing that it does, number two, is it affects your performance. If you know anything about fear, fear sticks you. It keeps you in a stuck place. So if you're having to perform in a place where you're afraid, you're not gonna do well. I promise you that. The other thing that it does, it affects your self-esteem. It gives you low self-esteem because now, again, you're fearful. If you're fearful, you're not confident. You can't be fearful and confident at the same time. So now you are affected in your self-esteem. And the last thing that it does, it gives you a bad reputation. It gives you a bad reputation for others and yourself. But I would say this, it gives you a bad reputation for yourself first. Because now you're not confident, you don't believe in yourself, you have believed the procrastination over the fact that you can do it. You can face this thing that is so daunting. The other thing is, I want you to understand about procrastination is pro procrastination. Pro is a pro. You're an expert at it. Procrastination is moving forward in delaying or doing nothing. So you are a pro at doing nothing. We are a pro at doing nothing. We cannot be a pro at doing nothing, okay? So let's deal with the procrastination in our life. We cannot be a pro at doing nothing. We have to be productive, right? Let's start by me telling you how I dealt with procrastination in my life and how I deal with it because it's a everyday battle because we're always afraid of something. You know, we're always afraid of facing something or doing something. So let me tell you how I face and deal with things. First, I admit that I'm afraid. I admit that I am dealing with procrastination over this one situation. Be detailed now because you can't deal with too much at one time. You have to take pieces of your fear and deal with them. So. That's the first thing I do. Number two, I then brace myself mentally and I give myself a sound mind. I say to myself, self, you can, cannot run from this any longer because it's important that you do it. So you have to do it. You have to do it, period. Then I strategically plan a way to face and handle the task. For example, if I am having to clean my closet, what I would do is I'll start by going into my closet, 
and start picking up the things that are out of order, the things that are on the floor, the things that are just sitting wherever, however, I will pick those up and I will begin to create pals and I will label those pals. And before you know it, I have put things in those pals and that space over there is now empty. That space over there is now ready for a container to put those things in. But nonetheless, I'm cleaning things up. And the more you clean things up, the more you'll get to see the end results of it. So don't stop, just keep going. Even if it takes you a few days to complete this closet, do a little bit at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself and reward yourself. Reward yourself. That will be the last thing. Reward yourself for what you have completed. Because it's all about completion. Procrastination does not want you to complete a thing. So when you complete, even a pow, when you complete that pow, reward yourself. The new perspective that I wanna give you is, work your way out and in, ideas will arise and creativity will come because you want to create now an atmosphere that's unique and comfortable for you. When you're doing a task and you're cleaning something up, and you have your pals, and you're creating your labels, and you're putting things in position, now it's time to, but you know what? I ain't gonna even tell you all that. Because there is a skill with moving forward in this thing. You have to get creative in those spaces. But I'ma leave that for the next video because I'm ready to give it all to you. But let's get back at all the things that we have to accomplish. If it's there, we have to accomplish it. So what we have to do now is put the labels on it, create a strategic plan to get it done and take step by step by step to make it happen. And before you know it, everything will be manifested and it will be done. Then you can move to the next project that you've been procrastinating about. So. With that, I handle all my duties and my tasks and my goals that way because I find when it's time for action, I have been prepared because I've been working on it with my pals and my labels and working on little projects and making them big projects. But little projects turn into big projects. Little starts turning to big end results, okay? Don't forget that. I'm not a procrastinator no more. I am a proficient leader and I am proficient at what I have to do and no longer do I procrastinate. So please share and follow because I will be sharing more of those secret tips and ways on how to move forward once you get those few things done. So don't forget, let me recap real quick. You have reasons why procrastination is not your friend. It's not your friend because it deals with mental theft instead of mental health. And the ways to deal with it is first, you have to admit that you have to deal with it. Two, you have to go ahead and get a sound mind about this thing. Make it up in your mind, speak to yourself, tell yourself, self, I gotta make this happen. And three, you have to plan and execute a strategical plan to get it done. And don't be too hard on yourself because you're gonna start small, you're gonna create the pals, you're gonna label them, and before you know it, that big task is gonna be completed. And you're gonna be able to reward yourself and be grateful that you did that. So stick it out, endure to the end, and remember, change your mind, change your world. Do not be a procrastinator, but be a proficient leader. See you later. Bye-bye.